guys, this is Peter from Build a Boeing. I have started working on uh, an overhead panel and um, tonight I've been doing starter switches. My goal was to make the switch return from ground to off once the engine is turned on. And um, this I have achieved through um, something I, an idea I stole from my fellow Danish builder Klaus Hansen. Uh, go visit his webpage um, for the original idea. Unless, of course, you stole it from someone else. Well, anyway, um, to put on the back here is this piece of equipment, which isn't all that complex. It's a uh, piece of plexiglass with two rotary switches on. You might recognize those white ones. And then the back box there is the servo engine. The servo is then connected to this, and um, I've extended the, the length. And over here is a, um, an extra, it's just an arm, it's not connected to anything, it's just... Let's see if we can get a picture of that, right? It's just an arm for stability, so when when the servo moves, the arm just moves parallel, if you understand what I mean. Well, I can't move it right now, but let's see if I can make it move through the computer. Okay, there. Right. So, on these rotary switches, I have drilled a 2 millimeter hole through on both and installed these metal shafts. It's some I bought from eBay like half a year ago. They're shafts for um, gears that I wanted to use for my gauges. And so the idea is that, is that when you turn, this of course goes here in front, so that's the only thing you see. And then when you turn it, the knob to the left to start the engine, like that. There's a script that when the engine is started, moves the servo and goes back. Brilliant. And over here, turn the switch, wait for it, and that's it. Thank you, Klaus, for this wonderful idea. This is Peter from Builderbank.